Thank you. Our next speaker will be Mr. Nitin Kumar of Cloudcrest. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to the chair, and thank you, Mr. Reggie, for giving me an opportunity to speak. Uh, my name is Nitin Kumar from Cloudcrest, part of the organization as an advisor and evangelist. Uh, what a powerful back session. I couldn't have got a better start than this, starting with Mr. Verma talking about the connectivities and then moving to autonomics, cybersecurity, uh, data collections, data lakes. What this all entails back to is cloud. Uh, it's all about digitization, modernization. How do we take our platforms to the next generation? And what lies for us to provide a digital world to the end user as well as, as a provider, a service provider to ourselves? Uh, a few facts which I learned with Mr. Reggie and our uh, dear friend, Mr. Ajoy, yesterday about you know, giving some food thoughts to the audience, which you can learn about it as to what's really is happening around the industry. Uh, nearly 1.1 billion smart meters would be installed by 2022. Uh, this report essentially came out in 2018. I'm sure this number would double up. The way we are going and the way Mr. Verma talked about it, we are even ready to airlift, uh, send the meters by boats, and very soon, you know, the edge connectivities, the ubiquitous connectivity would be possible in India as well. On an average, you know, a cloud consumer uses 77 fewer server. Um, and as my friend in Accenture talked about it, it's not about infrastructure that is reduced by cloud. Uh, cloud is mainstream now. It's no longer, you know, talked about it. It's no longer a buzzword. It's about the application. It's about the platform. It's about the services. It's about the benefit that it can bring it to you without reinventing the wheel. Uh, you would be surprised to know Amazon itself produces 150 megawatt wind farm for itself, and they run everything on cloud in itself. And they have plans to double that by 2022 again in this, which is running across USA wind farm. So cloud, what we view it as, and then as I see how the industry is moving towards, it's about modernizing, providing new skills, new jobs, wherein people can focus on the other aspects and talk about vertical rather than being focused heavily around IT. Uh, as a utility or as any other vertical customer or a service provider or a user, I need to be focused on what my domain is rather than being tactical about the IT. That's where cloud comes and help give you that empowerment because those platforms are already ready and somebody has invested in it. The story continues. I'm like, there, there have been hundreds and thousands of use cases by various providers. You name one, Google, Azure, or, or hundreds of them, they have you know, a, a hundred use cases available with each provider, how and where they have saved a lot of money around utility. And it's not about money, it's about flexibility, agility, and what benefits you can provide it to end user. Naming few out of, you know, outside the Indra, Haven Power, they were able to reduce their time into 80 millisecond from you know, 500 millisecond and about to bring down their cost. NL saved about 21% in their infrastructure in itself. GE, you know, who doesn't know GE, right? GE itself runs the biggest analytics platform and a lot of customers leverage that. Uh, as we all know, data is the future of oil. Uh, all our chartered accountants are now figuring it out, how they can put data in balance sheets so that it could be shown as how do I sell data? How do I buy data? Because data has become so much power, how do you analyze it? And as our chair talked about it, data, as to how we can run so much analytics, what users are doing, how grids are performing, and what I could do to predict before a weather happens or any eventuality that occurs. Smart ado devices adoption is gonna accelerate very soon. Uh, we could see a future, another two years or three years, all the home devices connected would be directly connected to smart meters. There have been organizations who are trying to connect the Nest thermostats, even your Alexa home speakers to your you know, smart meters right outside. Not only energy companies want to learn how much energy you use in your house, they want to learn about the pattern, how much energy is being utilized in every room by individual so can, they can predict the future better. There have been compliances, regulations around it, which, which every country, every state has defined it as to how these data sharing can happen. But the edge computing is coming, and cloud is a platform that offers these ready, available, 
market sellable solutions which could be just adopted to and, and, and being plug and play services. You could see the smart lighting project in itself is gonna grow by 206% in, in coming years. Now, how do we see that? The cloud, we always talk about cloud as infrastructure or, or we primarily look at it, it's, it's security. It's not around that. There is a bigger use case around chatbots. How utilities, what we have seen in industries levering chatbots, voice bots, feedback. We all know a utility consumer receive almost a thousand calls in a day during a eventuality, around 100 to 200 calls for a billing issue, 50 to 60 calls for a field personnel. For this, you have to deploy an army of people. Even if you have your own platform, how those platforms help you scale up to the future. The future of bots is here, which means these bots, which could be available, leveraged through cloud or on-prem, you could build those solutions, can help you optimize, reduce time, and give you better scalable solution so your users, your end user, could be more happier, and it could reduce the call volume that is being reduced, which could help energy operators to focus on some of the aspects which needed to be to report, repair and restore rather than just answering those phone calls that yes, it's been, it's been being worked upon. As the cloud provider says, why reinvent the wheel? We have been putting hundreds and thousands of people in keeping and deploying solutions which are relevant for industry, which are relevant by use cases, they have created platforms which could be just used as plug and play. You need to supply the data and it would start spitting the results out which could be leveraged out. If I would have to deploy those solutions as of today, it could take me months to years and from infrastructure cost of an X and deployment to Y or Y plus one. When I could leverage those infrastructures within my capabilities, why not? That's where we feel, or it's in our opinion, that whatever solutions we could leverage, before rebuilding solutions on-prem, we should. Uh, the last revamp happened in utility industry around uh, a decade ago. Now it's time, slowly, gradually, all the infrastructure is getting revamped, and it's a great opportunity those solutions could be plugged into it. We have seen a great success, these solutions plugging into the utility industry and providing better results. Now, as, a, as an advice, how and when customers are adopting to cloud, which and which places you could see a use case we have seen is essentially when your data center contracts are expiring, your assets are due for refresh, you are legacy expiring systems around HP's mainframes of the world, those beasts that we qualify it as, uh, business continuity, which is very big for utility, uh, backups and DR, data holdings, we hold a lot of data for consumers. You know, that data which is 10 years old, never been touched, but still stay on our most expensive hardware, and we continue to pay licensing around backups, maintenance, people, software. If we could alone just manage the dark data in itself and move it out of on-premise or within our own PSUs with some effective solution, I'm sure it would bring a lot of efficiencies in the system and later on could be running analytics on those as to what really happened on those patterns and use it as an oil, which people call it as data. The core pillars of utility industry, what we qualify as customer care, networks, asset management, and meter data. These are the four core pillars of a utility industry where the whole transformation happens, where all the applications reside, where the modern data centers, the hyper-converged world is happening, where the world is coming to a consolidation. The future is all about consolidation. It's no more the islands of infrastructure, no more islands of information. It's about how do you consolidate what you have and how you can reap results in, by the consolidation. Uh, the way to adopt that cloud, there, there, there have been hundreds of conversation around it. How do I move? What's my journey? What do I need to take with me? The, the best approach we qualify it as an autonomics. The more automation you run around cloud, and we talked about it uh, just before my session, the automation brings a lot of benefits. So learn about your system, bring some intelligence, run the gap assessment as to what and where it fits, a right planning with right comparison return on investments, 
and essentially how that execution is going to happen, which will let you get to a right journey. It, it's a big metro map as to how that application modernization is going to happen, which is essentially about you know, the Gartner's five R's or the time strategy what one needs to follow. Uh, and that's where I'm going to end because I run out of my time. I would love to take more, but I would not. But thank you. <laughs>